Hey guys, Mac here. We're playing Saints Row 4 and this is a super secret Easter egg room located in the bottom left corner of the map in the clothing store. Let's pretend. So you're going to have to hack the store obviously to gain access and I'm pretty far here so I have gateways and stuff. You're going to want to get to this Let's Pretend on the map whichever way you can and make sure you have access to it. Through the magic of editing, I'm going to basically pop up there and once we get there, we're going to go inside the store. Now, it looks just about the same as any other store, except this one has a secret room. So there are a few cool things in here, but there is a door and the door will say employees only. And that's quite important that it says employees only. I didn't work on the game personally, but we're going to go take a look inside. Uh, just shoot the door a bunch of times. The door will explode open and you can basically just walk in. So there's going to be a long series of hallways, but there's quite a few things uh, once you do reach the end of the hall. Um, I'm just going to let it show up on the screen as we kind of continue through here. And bam, we're in a secret room. There you have uh, Mr. Boone himself with a, a boon coming out of his stomach uh, in a cardboard cutout. If you shoot it, nothing really happens. And then in front of you, you have a small picture of a lot of the developers that worked on the game. There's some art on the uh, side of the walls here. None of it's very... Uh, nice or anything to be honest, but these uh, cardboard cutouts are available if you go to the washroom There's a sex doll just chilling on the toilet, which is obviously uh, the norm at volition as I've heard uh, personally and uh, We're gonna come back into the washroom here, and we're, I'm gonna take my pistol and just shoot some of these heads what happens fireworks um, You can basically shoot all of them. I don't think anything happens special when you shoot all of them in a row or anything but you do get uh, individual fireworks for each person now, that's not the only thing in this room. There is one super cool, super secret thing in this room that I personally love, and it is called the Tiny Pistol. So the Tiny Pistol is located on the chair in the corner of the room, and it's gonna take your RPG slot. So that's a little bit unfortunate. It's a very tiny pistol, and it is a very loud pistol. It makes a huge explosion, and it throws your character back no matter how leveled you are, and even if you have no ragdoll turned on, it will level your character. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the customization options of it and as well as how it shoots. So it's very similar to the Men in Black pistol. Uh, you would probably remember from the very first movie with Will Smith where he picks up a very, very small pistol and he goes, what the hell is this? And he fires it and it makes a huge explosion and throws him back. This is that pistol, except it's not licensed. It is just a tiny pistol as far as we're concerned. Um, and it shoots a huge explosion um, I'm gonna show you guys the upgrades it has available. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any styles So all you can do is upgrade a little bit of its recharge rate and again through the magic of editing I'm at a friendly fire Once you go inside that friendly fire, I'm gonna show you all the upgrades that are available I basically buy them all for I think maybe $40,000 um, Again, nothing other than five levels of recharge rate if you buy them all it recharges a little bit faster and it's uh, the same amount of destructivity. It does throw you back every time you use it, so keep that in mind. It is a pretty cool weapon to have early on in the game though, and I really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching guys. If you found the video useful, entertaining, or I taught you something, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.